Hey guys, I received a lot of questions about the baby bassinets on the airplane from our travel videos. So I'm just gonna share a quick video on how they work and how they get set up. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoy this video. I hope you find it helpful. So there are two different ways that we have seen these being set up. Here is one of them. They just simply slide into something that's already attached to the wall. And to have these seats, you do need to be seated in the front row of the normal economy seating area, but in the middle of a long haul flight, this is pretty typical of what to expect. After takeoff, the flight attendants asked if we were ready to have these set up, so they set them up, and then they also attached a sheet to make it a little bit more comfortable and sanitary, and additionally added a little shade cover to block some light for the baby. During the setup process, I held both of my babies and then my husband actually assisted the flight attendants by getting out the sleep sacks that we brought for the babies. I definitely recommend bringing some type of comfortable sleeping material and sleeping clothes for the babies to help them situate themselves into their normal routine. And that is what they did. We kind of winded them down for nap time as well as the actual bedtime with bottles and toys and kept them nice and comfortable. They don't usually use pillows at home but for this we did allow them to have a pillow just to maximize their comfort. They also have a buckle over them. Additionally another little bonus of being in the bassinet seats is you are closest to the largest bathroom on the airplane for changing diapers. Now here is one other way that we saw these bassinets being set up on a different airplane on a smaller airplane that still luckily had them and instead of having a slide in bassinet to the wall they have these little dots that they actually just attached something to and I couldn't quite tell what they were doing as clearly as the other one but it looked a little bit more difficult once they got the little thing to pop into the wall hole of some kind it was like a hole that went all the way through then they locked it down and made sure that it was nice and sturdy she actually wiggled it around to make sure that it was nice and strong and sturdy and then they did something very similar to what happened the last time that we were on an airplane which was they put in something comfortable for the babies some blankets and pillows and then of course we provided the clothes and the sleep sack for the babies again just to be comfortable this bassinet was slightly different also in the way that instead of having a buckle over them, they had a zipper closing over them. So it was a little bit different, but it worked pretty much the same and was the same size. One other bonus of booking the bassinet seats and this specific location is that even if your infant has outgrown the seats like our babies did the last time we traveled, they were 14 months old and they were too big for the seats, we actually still enjoyed being in this location because there's extra leg room and they were able to kind of move around that area and play a little bit. Also, in case anyone is curious, you can still use your monitor and tray table to eat or do whatever you need to while the bassinets are up, and it's a great way to use your time if your babies are sleeping. Sometimes your babies want to play in the area below, and sometimes they don't even want to sleep in there at all and they just want you to hold them, and that is all okay, but overall, we were very happy with our experiences with all of the bassinets that we have tried. These were with Lufthansa and United Airlines. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Like I said, we've flown quite a bit with our babies. When they were nine months old, we did an international trip all the way from US to Germany. And then we did it again when they were 14 months old. So we've seen our fair share of different flights. And I will say we never saw this on the short flights. So the short flights that we have been on were only about an hour long, whereas the long haul flights all had them. And we only had to pay about $40 to actually upgrade our adult seats and get the bassinet location. And then the bassinets came with the location. One thing I definitely recommend and encourage anybody to do if you are thinking of booking a bassinet seat is call ahead to the airline to double check the availability before you book your ticket because if it's not available and then you book your ticket and then you call to book the actual seat then you're out of luck and they might be able to put you on a waiting list to get a specific bassinet seat in case somebody cancels but you don't want to have to weigh that risk now worst case scenario we have flown on a long-haul flight and not had bassinet seats and that worked out okay too it was on one of the long-haul flights during the 14 month old stint and honestly it it worked out just fine. I will show you a little bit about what that looked like. We just had them sleeping on the seats and we made a little makeshift bed. It's not ideal, but it worked out just fine. And there are so many different ways that you can do this. The only thing is that you can't guarantee that you actually are gonna have the extra space to do this. Now, the other thing about booking the bassinets is keep in mind the length, because actually it's supposed to be all the way up to 24 months for infants that are flying with you. But keep in mind that if you have a tall infant like us, it may not actually fit. I believe the actual measurement is 29 inches long, but double 
travel check. I think everyone probably varies. You can probably just ask the airline directly when you book with them, when you call ahead to book them. This is a question that you can ask. And when our girls were 14 months old, they actually didn't really want to sleep in the bassinets. But you know what? Even though they ended up not utilizing them as much, we ended up really enjoying having the space booked anyways, because there's a little extra leg room and then the kids can stand up. So if it's available to book and they allow you to book it, even when your child is already standing up and doesn't want to sleep in the bassinet, I definitely recommend the space just because again, more leg room and more room for them to kind of walk around or crawl around or whatever it is. You can put a play mat on the floor. It's very nice to have that space rather than having to like stand in the aisle and things like that. So anyways, again, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It absolutely would help me grow. And I look forward to sharing more videos like this with you guys. Thanks so much. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.